Well, I think we've got a good plan for short weeks and what we do with our guys, try to keep them uh, you know, fresh so they're ready to go on Thursday. They got to, everybody knows they got to, their body's got to peak at 7.30 on uh, Thursday, so their clocks have to change in their heads. Obviously, you're out here today. Is that the biggest change to the schedule this week and what you're doing, being out here practicing today or anything else you're doing this week? Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of things different than we do on a, in a normal week, but we don't. But it's because of the time, you know. So we don't have the, the amount of time. Plus, it's a, you know, it's a. When you go with a short week, it's more about making sure that they're mentally fresh and that their bodies are ready to go on Thursday night. So we can't we can't practice the way we would normally practice in a week. How much of it then is recovery and rest and mental reps versus the, the normal thing you would do to prepare for? Uh, I'd say 75% of it is that. I mean, in, in our plan. How much pressure is your team feeling this week, Coach, as far as trying to keep tabs in the Coastal Division race and knowing that you guys can't slip up at all for the rest of the season? I don't know that we haven't talked about it. I mean, we, we've, you know, if they feel it, they haven't said anything to me. It's, uh, it's about the next game. I mean, that's the only thing that we can control is what we do uh, in this game on Thursday night. So that's, that's where our focus has been. It's just been, let's get ready for this, this game. What's been the difference the last couple of games in having more success in short yarded situations? Well, I think uh, part of it is, uh, you know, I think Hood is, is finally back to being, you know, healthy. Uh, and that's been good. I think our offensive line, you know, with all the, the changes in the offensive line, I mean, I think they're starting to get a little bit more comfortable with each other and who's up there. And so, you know, I think uh, I just think we're, we're executing better. You said a couple weeks ago in the midst of the struggles, it's just a matter of getting it done. Is that the difference? That you, Say that again. You said a couple weeks ago during the struggles when we were asking you about the, 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 this problem, you said it's just a matter of the guys getting it done. Coach Cap said the same thing. Yeah, just execute. It's not like they're going to come up with some kind of magical plays. I mean, it's just execute. You're going to put a, a body on a body, knock him off the ball, and run him back, get the first down. Lucas is recognized for the third time. What is he doing well up front? Well, he's probably been the most consistent guy, first of all. You know, he's a senior. He's got a lot of reps. He's the quarterback of the offensive line. Uh, he's, uh, he's really quiet now. He doesn't ever talk, doesn't say much. But he's, uh, you know, it's, it, you know that he's always going to take care of his business and he's going to do his job. It's just the way he is. That's his personality. From what you've seen out of Duke on film, the way they played Louisville, the way they played Virginia Tech, the way they played Georgia Tech, do they have the look of a 3-6 and six team? They could very, I mean, they could have very easily won all three of those games. There, you know, there's no doubt about that. So we, we, we don't really look at their record. I mean, that's not something that we pay attention to. We know we're going to get their best game, and, and hopefully we're going to give them our best game. Larry, speak to that. Sometimes it seems like Duke likes to slow it down, especially if they did that against the Louisville, make the lower production game. Is there anything you can do to maintain your pace and kind of make it? Well, I think, uh, you know, Georgia Tech does as good a job of anybody doing that. I mean, we just need to be efficient. If we can be efficient running the football, and, uh, you know, I think we'll throw the ball efficiently. And if we do those things, then we should stay on the field. If we keep, you know, uh, converting third downs like we, we do, then, then we'll stay on the field and we'll hopefully get the ball in the end zone. Daniel Jones has gotten into a nice groove as a quarterback for Duke. And is that something you guys are, are closely paying attention to as far as trying to contain him? And oh, you bet. I mean, he's doing a really nice job with it. I mean, I think he's, uh, he's growing into himself. He's, uh, he's pretty comfortable back there. He runs the ball very, very well. Notice the uh, victory bell is painted half Duke blue, half Carolina blue. That's new. Was that? Was there any reason behind that? I don't know. It was new to me, so uh, I, I, I didn't. Uh, I hadn't seen it yet, and I uh, just heard about it from the players. You don't have any idea what's going on there? Uh, I, I, I really don't. I've just been really focused on what we're doing. I hadn't paid a whole lot of attention to it. Okay. Two years ago, you had that whole painting. Yeah, we won't have any painting. Yeah, we won't do any painting. We had some new stuff for this week, but we're, we're also got a lot of stuff that's going to roll over from last week, which I think is going to help uh, for this game plan. So we'll do a lot of similar things, but also add some new things. And it's all about just uh, do what we do, focus uh, on what we've uh, done as an offense and what we're good at, and uh, just come out here, practice hard, uh, learn the game plan, spend a lot of time on it, and watch as much film as you can for a short week. And uh, we're going to do the same thing we did last year on a Thursday week. Um, put the game plan in, come out here, practice hard, and uh, it's a robbery game, so I, all the boys are excited, we're ready to go, and we're going to put a lot of time in to make sure we're ready for this game. When you look at Duke on film and their season, do they look like a 3-6 and six and w winless ACC no, team? No, no, definitely not. Um, I mean, you really got to throw the records out the door for this one. Uh, from what I see on film, they're solid defense, well-disciplined, they got a lot of good ball players, and uh, they're going to be ready to go uh, Thursday night, so we got we got to come ready to play as well. What is Thursday night? Um, 
it basically means get ready to go. I mean, this is your time to shine. Uh, if you want to show the country what you're about, go ahead and put it on the field and, and ball out. But um, you, at, at some point, you got to block that out and uh, just just do what your coach would do, do it for the guy next to you, and, and go out there and have fun. So you can't let it stress you out, but uh, the table's set, so you got out to, got to go out there and show people what you can do. They pay it half. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't care about no bell. I just I want to win. So I know that comes with winning against Duke, but I'm not too worried about about the bell. I know some of the guys were upset, but it doesn't really bother me. Is there a different level of focus for you guys this week, going up against your rival and knowing what you guys have on the line in every game? You know, trying to win this coastal division. I don't think there's a different level of focus. I mean, I mean, for me personally, and, and us seniors, we only, we got three more regular season games left. So um, you, you gotta, you gotta, you really do have to take every game. You can't take any game for granted. You gotta come out prepared mentally and physically, um, no matter who you're playing. Um, a little bit uh, different atmosphere, though. You know, it's a night game, national television, um, lights come on. So I think it'll be. You know, one of our first, you know, second night games of the year. So, um, you know, different different atmosphere from that point of view. I think just like you ready to show the country the team that you are today than the team that we saw against Georgia, you know, back in September. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to going out there and just playing, to be honest with you. Uh, I think we're clicking right now. Um, you know, we got we got a guy back there that can sling it. You know, our defense has, has played lights out for the past couple of weeks. So, um, you know, it's, it's not really uh, we're not too concerned about what are, what other people are thinking about us. But it'll be nice to go out there on, on national television and and uh, hopefully play really well.